Shumai Chrysler, welcome. Uh, thank you for uh, watching the video. Um, it's my second in, in, in quick succession uh, because I've had a bit of luck today and I managed to do everything I needed to do um, to get my layout. Actually, all the switches that I've laid are now working and working properly. So um, I've had a group, bit of help with that. Um, a friend from down the road, Ian, uh, Mike, he um, he came up to help me and that extra pair of hands uh, did wonders and he's got a lot of experience uh, he's recently moved into the village and he's a double O man he's going to put his layout out uh, in his garage in 30 40 years he's been doing it so he with his expertise and, and advice uh, for a beginner like me it was uh, very valuable and uh, you know, Mike I know you watch the channel so you will come up here anytime you don't have to for just come up when you want and have a play Anyway, so the video today is all about um, how I uh, tried out the new um, Yarmulk. Uh, I saw it on video um, from DCC Train Automation. And uh, after chatting with the, with the guy there, it, it looked really what, exactly what I wanted. Um, bought it, installed it, brilliant. Brilliant, absolutely great. A few issues at the beginning, now it's working perfectly, so I'm very pleased. So, uh, James, DCC Train Automation, thank you very much for all your help and support, as always. And uh, again, thank you to all of you that are watching this channel, for all of you that make the comments. I really, honestly, the appreciation for those comments is immense. Uh, without you guys and the fact that you, you seem to be enjoying what I'm doing, it, it just spurs me on to try and be better. Um, and do better and uh, yeah I'm pleased to say now um, just over 18 months since I started uh, bearing in mind I had the summer off I've actually got a working layout I can run three trains um, I can switch over I'm still learning the technique of switching over using um, the, the, the handheld um, controller uh, that's, that is taxing me but I'm learning it getting there you can hear my uh, engine going off in the background there. That is brilliant. It just helps me to uh, to carry on working. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for everybody who likes and comments. Please keep doing so. Please keep liking it. Um, I can't say how humble I am that uh, you know you're even bothered listening to this uh, old Welshman. Um, I'm not going to talk about the rugby this weekend. I'm still in despair. Uh, but I'll let you get on and watch the video. A Delcom Vaur, and uh, I'll catch you another time. Right. Okay. So I've got this uh, Yamorik Mark, yeah, YD eight one one six switch, um, which uh, James from DCC um, Automation has recommended for me. Um, I've put in the track signal. And now I'm just going to put in the little converter for the I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to do here um, Right, so I've now got the power adapter in and what I should be able to do now is to Press the program switch, and then on the <coughs> my, con my controller, then is put that to the the number that I want. This is supposed to be all you have to do is once the power is connected, you got your, your, your line into your um, track. Press the power switch, throw the switch on the controller, and then that's then from there on. That's so. If I wanted this at 15, for example, that would be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. None of this malarkey. Straight out of the box, and it's running uh, MP uh, turn up switches, which I've got a stack of. Right, so uh, I'm using these because apparently. They have their own on off switch so you don't have to program them like you do with the DRs or anything like that. It's straightforward, straight in. So we'll give it a go. 
Now this is coming from one of my MP switches which is um, MP1 switches which is already uh, in position and they are over here in the TMD um, they're under the ta under the bench so there's one there for example and there's quite a few running down there so the idea is is I connect this and we should then be able to work it out from there so um, that's the plan anyway So the switch has got external power, it's got feed coming in from the um, line, then I have connected two MP1 motors up, one on 15, I set that to 15, therefore 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, those are the switches. So on my handset I'm throwing switch 15 and then if I zoom in hopefully you'll see that that will move. there you go slight delay I must admit doesn't go straight away but it's good enough to do what I want so hopefully uh, that works I can now connect that uh, to my uh, TMD switches and, and go from there I'll let you know how we get some right so now I've got the um, Yamok switch in uh, it's on the side there and I've drilled four or five holes through and I'm meeting this up afterwards. But we've tested this and we've now got the first switch working which is this one here. That'll switch over now using the controller. And then um, we called it a day because we were trying to get the second switch in and we weren't getting anywhere so frustration crept in so give it a rest. So I've come back in today and uh, I went back to one that I fitted last year um, which is the line, the switch up here which takes the uh, line through the tunnel or through to the um, valley. Problem is I couldn't get it working so I ran, I had the wires underneath and then I realised that I'd actually set this up, this is the very first one I'd done and I set this up to as if I was going to put in um, a point where you had to power up the frog. So there was uh, two yellows and a blue running from it and I, then I had the black, green and red and for some reason um, I must have put them in wrong because when I wired up the black, green, green and red which is what I normally do, hang on here he comes um, I connected it, it um, Sent my transformer down there, Dulali. So quickly unplugged it, smell of burning, that's no buggered. Swapped it over for another one, still couldn't get it working. Then I thought I'll have a look at this, but of course I've glued all this in, thinking I've done it, foolishly. Lessons learned. Then I realised, yeah, this is what I've done, I've wired it up wrong. These three should go to the first three. And then three should go to the last three. So now I've had to swap it all over. I've put these in now. It now works perfectly. Quite happy with it. So now I've got to put it all away. Um, and wire it up. But why I did that a year ago. I can't remember. Probably because I'm new to the game. Didn't know what I was doing. Trying to follow instructions. And not realise I was doing it wrong. But there you go. But it works. So um, we'll crack on. Get that sort it out and back into place but what an idiot I feel there you go but just to show I am learning I am new to this and then I'll tidy all those wires up and then I've wired all the other points ready to go in which I'm hoping Mike will give me a hand with this week my engine stall for some reason oh.